Minister of Finance Colm Imbert says difficult decisions will have to be made in the upcoming fiscal budget as government looks to cut expenditure. But even so, Mr. Imbert says the state's mandatory expenditure amounts to $42 billion annually, which includes salary and wage payments, as well as pensions and social grants. And due to the current climate, Mr. Imbert does not foresee revenue crossing $40 billion for the next fiscal year. Sunil Lala followed the minister's presentation during the Spotlight on the Economy Forum and has the details. You need to spend to fuel economic growth. If you contract too, too much, you just crash the entire economy. So we have serious decisions to make. Finance Minister Calm Imbert as he summarized what could be expected in his upcoming budget presentation. He explained that due to the drop in energy prices and with COVID-19 lingering, he does not expect revenue to come even near expenditure, saying government is obligated to spend at least $42 billion a year, as well as at least $10 billion in subsidies to WASA, TNTEC, and other state enterprises. But despite this, Mr. Imbert pointed out that Trinidad and Tobago has done well to manage the local economy, despite worldwide layoffs and contracting of the world economy. The minister said difficult decisions will have to be made, but assured that there will be no retrenchment at this time. We can't cut pensions, we can't cut um, social welfare benefits and so on. We have no plans at this point in time to retrench anybody in the public service. But we have to understand our situation. With the best will in the world, I don't see revenue crossing $40 billion in 2021. And even with all of this, Mr. Imbert insisted that devaluation of the TT dollar is not an option at this time. He said it would increase the cost of living and would have trade unions immediately demanding higher wages. Inflation will go from 1% to 6% or 7% immediately, and the standard of living in Trinidad and Tobago would decline immediately. So we continue at this time, now that foreign inflows are very low, to believe that devaluation is not the answer at this time. The minister, meanwhile, criticized experts in 2015 who suggested that Trinidad and Tobago should have devalued the TT dollar 10 to 1, saying that all foreign reserves could have evaporated within a year. But Mr. Imbert said there is still in excess of 7 billion US dollars of foreign reserves and an increased import cover of 8.7 months. We stabilized the decline in foreign reserves and we stabilized the decline in import cover and our reserves have in fact grown over the last year or two and our import cover has grown now almost nine months. The finance minister also refuted claims that government mismanaged the Heritage and Stabilization Fund. He said despite significant withdrawals, the HSF contains more funds now compared to 2015. Sonolala, TDT News.